mention care, and often images like these come to mind. With a reputation for swift, effective action, CARE is a leader in emergency relief worldwide. For many of these people, some of the millions of victims of war, natural disaster, and severe poverty that plague the world, CARE represents not only the chance to make it through another day, but care is the chance of a lifetime. World War II was finally over, and America's future never looked brighter. But halfway around the globe, hope was hard to come by. Europe lay in ruins, and millions of people were hungry homeless and dying. Back in the United States, 22 American organizations joined together to create a private and non-profit agency, the Cooperative for American Remittances to Europe. It wasn't long before CARE began speeding relief overseas. Generous Americans from all walks of life sent millions of life-saving care packages, bundles of food and other necessities to help the needy in Europe. By the mid-60s, more than 100 million care packages have been delivered all over the world. And with Europe recovered, CARE, now the cooperative for American relief everywhere, was focusing on problems in developing countries in Asia, Africa, Latin America. Today, the term care package is part of our language. Yet, did you know that care no longer sends packages to individuals? Well, that's because all the packages in the world couldn't hold everything care helps people do today. Care-assisted projects span the globe, benefiting entire communities. Through these projects, CARE gives people the chance to live better lives. Still, when disaster strikes, CARE comes through as always bringing whatever's needed to help people survive. To put it simply, to get the right stuff in the right quantity to the right places to the right people at the right time. With more than 40 years of experience, CARE leads the way, directing supplies quickly and efficiently. And because CARE is located throughout the world, communication and distribution channels and trained personnel are already there, ready to respond. Even other organizations ask CARE to coordinate the storage and distribution of food and supplies. In the 80s, for instance, as starvation and malnutrition ripped parts of Africa, claiming millions of lives, CARE moved food and other items from ports to CARE warehouses, and then to dozens of refugee camps when other agencies couldn't. But emergency relief is just the beginning. CARE also aims to eliminate long-term problems, making people less vulnerable to catastrophe.
care helps people overcome poverty, disease, environmental deterioration, a lack of resources and opportunity. Care helps them build schools, health clinics, roads, bridges, water systems, and more. Care helps them develop small businesses and grow more and better food. Care works to bring about lasting economic and social change, not just a quick fix. I know. I was there. I've seen it in progress. Care asked me to go to Ethiopia, where I saw firsthand how far people have come in just a few years. No, the crisis isn't over. Care still brings in food for the hungry. But step by step, people are gaining control over their lives, participating in projects that will enable them to grow their own food. And, someday, to do it all by themselves, without outside help. All over Africa, similar projects are underway, helping hundreds of thousands of people to survive and make a new start. We are absolutely believe without care, we'd never have such success, really. In Asia, too, care helps promote self-sufficiency and pride. Night after night, this family in Thailand went to bed hungry, hoping for just a simple bowl of rice. Now, thanks to an irrigation system and new farming techniques they learned from care, they'll never go hungry again. And because care helps them grow extra crops they can sell, such as hibiscus, they now have, for the very first time, enough cash to buy things like medicine and other basics. In Bangladesh, these unmarried, widowed, or abandoned women once begged in the streets. Today, they're earning a living keeping roads open for villagers on their way to market. The neat thing for most of us in care is that uh, you can see the self-respect in the eyes of the women. When they're first hired and are out on the roads and you go up to talk to them, they pull their sari and they're hiding. And after about six weeks, when you go up to see them, they stand like this and say, I want to raise. <laughs> But while it's providing employment, it's also keeping these roads open for the villagers, and the villagers recognize that and, and appreciate it. In Latin America, a lot of people are discovering how a little help goes a long way. From year to year, Francisco Yamo worked this piece of land in Guatemala. With frequent dry spells, each and every day was a struggle, trying to grow enough food for his family. Then, Francisco joined in CARES Fisheries Project and built and stocked a small backyard fish pond. Sounds simple, but and it was truly a life-changing idea for Francisco, his wife, and their three children. Now they have a plentiful source of nutritious food. The pond is a great thing for us. When we need food, there it is. Someday, to further improve his living conditions, Francisco even hopes to raise enough fish to sell. For Francisco, and for many like him the world over, it's the chance of a lifetime. Helping needy people overcome hunger, poor health, and disease is one of CARE's specialties. CARE has helped disadvantaged people build clinics, provided supplies, 
and train villagers to be health care workers in their communities. Delivering emergency food to starving people is, of course, a high priority for CARE. Believing that everyone has the right to an adequate diet, CARE provides food in non-emergencies, too. CARE delivers food to preschool children, pregnant women, and nursing mothers, as at this nutrition clinic in the Philippines. CARE also provides nutritious food through schools to encourage attendance and improve the health of undernourished children. Additionally, CARE uses food to pay impoverished participants working on projects that will benefit scores of families. This drainage system in Guatemala is being built by local residents who eat well-balanced meals thanks to CARE-supplied food. CARE's health care programs teach people how to prevent and treat serious health problems through simple, low-cost measures. This care program teaches people in Cameroon how to easily make an affordable remedy for life-threatening dehydration, the number one killer of young children in the developing world. When chronic malnutrition occurs in the first five years of life, or when women are malnourished during pregnancy, the damage is not only severe, it's likely to be permanent. So mothers are being taught to keep a close watch on their children's growth, as well as their own health. Women and their children receive extra food. Children get weighed. Mothers learn how to treat illnesses and injuries. They also learn about nutrition and hygiene. And the importance of immunizations. Today, we can reduce the mortality of diphtheria, tetanus, whooping cough, uh, measles, and even tuberculosis, thanks to the immunization. It's a long process. It's not done in a day. It's not done in a month. It goes on piece by piece. but. Little by little, we'll, we'll have all the kids in this district immunized against major childhood diseases. In Haiti, Delord Antoine is just one example of the many mothers whose families have benefited from CARE's assistance. My family is better protected now, especially my youngest child. He's gotten all his shots. He gets weight every month so I know if it's going like it should, and I breastfed him more than I did my other children. Then I didn't know such things were necessary, and they got sick a lot. But this one, he's never been sick. From an outbreak of typhoid or malaria, to something is seemingly minor, but just as deadly as diarrhea, water-related diseases cause a great deal of human suffering and take a high toll on human lives. By improving people's access to safer, more plentiful water, CARE is helping prevent major health problems, even deaths. Community participation is essential because it's the community that must maintain the system once it's completed. For these Haitians, a new water system is something to celebrate. Here, Jean-Jacques and his family see a real difference in their lives. My children used to get sick because we were drinking polluted water. One of my children died from it. But since we now have clean drinking water, my children don't get sick anymore. Not at all. To us, the water is like a fortune and we can rejoice. Every year in the developing world, about 50 million acres of once productive farmland go to waste. Enough land to grow food for millions of people. An area larger than Oklahoma swallowed up by the desert every year. Unless something is done, by the time this African youngster reaches adulthood, nearly one-third of his continent's farmland 
will be wasteland. Forests are disappearing too. Forested areas the size of Indiana vanish every year. At that rate, half of what's left of the Earth's forests will be gone by the end of the century, leaving up to a million species of birds and other wildlife extinct. And millions of men, women, and children without the resources they need to survive. Throughout the developing world, people must cut down trees for fuel, shelter, and farmland. Yet the result can be devastating. Wind and rain sweep topsoil away. The land, now harsh and desolate, can't yield food or hold water. Crops fail. Livestock die. People starve. Ethiopia loses one billion tons of topsoil every year, causing drought emergencies that have claimed millions of lives. To stabilize the soil and prevent erosion, care helps people plant trees, fast-growing trees that provide many of life's necessities. Wood for fuel, housing, and tools leaves to feed animals, fruit trees that are a good source of vitamins and minerals, and that often produce enough extra fruit to sell at market. Care also helps people build irrigation systems and terraces that control the flow of rainwater. They learn how to make natural fertilizers and how to set up their own nurseries. By providing seeds, tools, credit, training, and other assistance, CARE helps people produce more food for their family's use and for sale, giving them the opportunity to become truly self-supporting. CARE has worked here in Niger's Maja Valley since 1974. An article in National Geographic magazine calls it one of the most successful land renewal projects in the world. What once looked like this, now looks like this. For the people who live here, the progress CARE has helped them make is a clear reminder that caring for the land means having enough to eat. underlying problem facing the developing world. It affects practically every facet of life, undermining efforts to improve meager diets, chronic poor health, and miserable housing. In fact, the current world hunger situation is due in large part to needy people's inability to buy available food. CARE develops projects that create sustainable sources of employment and income for the have-nots of the developing world. Women. Young people. The homeless. The landless. Projects that can be explained simply, that show positive results, and that quickly increase incomes. Projects that are carefully planned based on assessment of local needs, desires, and traditions. CARES activities focus mainly on services normally unavailable to the poor. Credit and savings. Training and marketing assistance. By helping the needy develop skills and create outlets for selling handicrafts, produce, and livestock, CARE encourages self-sufficiency 
in even the poorest communities. That means better food, health and housing, and a higher standard of living for entire villages. In Sudan, Mohammed Ahmed's got a waiting list of customers for the fuel-efficient stoves he makes by hand. Besides providing a livelihood, the stoves burn about half the wood of the traditional ones, conserving a precious resource in this desert country. In the Philippines, Felicito Pancho received the materials, equipment, and training needed to set up his own small fish market. And now, his days of living from hand to mouth are over. Project participants repay care from the sales of their goods, making funds available for other enterprising people who just need help getting started. In only one year, almost 4,000 new jobs were created in Peru, where care guarantees loans that local banks make to needy entrepreneurs. At some banks, the rate of repayment is better than 90%, an excellent rate by any standard. It's so successful that today, in Peru and elsewhere in the developing world, banks are making small business loans without CARES guarantee. Sinchi Garcia has already paid back his loan for an electric saw, and his carpentry business is booming. Now I can do much more work than before. I can build much more in much less time, instead of having to haul the lumber elsewhere to get it cut. Our lives are much better, because now I make enough money to keep food on the table. Nearby, Carmen Sanchez, a mother of four, received a loan for a sewing machine. Business is so good that she's had to hire help. Today, I can afford better food for my children. I no longer have to tell them, no, we don't have anything, because now we do have something. I'm very grateful to CARE for helping me out. Whether rural or urban, CARE's income generation programs help poor people make the most of their resources and abilities. The result is not just more income, but better food, health, housing, and community well-being. In a larger sense, increased incomes give the poor a greater role in the nation's economies and a stronger voice in determining that economy. How does CARE manage to help so many people in so many places? Well, manage is certainly the word for it. CARE is one of the best managed organizations in the business. Very professional management, a uh, very professional business-like uh, management, of course, without the commercial or profit aspect attached to it. You're able to cut through a lot of red tape, get immediate answers, get your programs underway. You get a crack at trying to do what you'd like to do. And that's what I feel is freedom. You don't have someone just saying, go out and do this. Uh, you can assess the needs and, and try to pursue the right kind of project to attack the problem. CARE converts every cash gift it receives into a magnet that attracts even more resources. Every dollar given to CARE is matched by $10 in additional donations, including food and cash grants from the U.S. and host country governments. We are very cost conscious. We want to achieve the best results at the lowest cost. In our whole programming context, the, the uh, shadow, if you will, the shade of the donor is always at hand. And uh, it's important for the donor to know that, that uh, he is, we, we don't treat the uh, contribution they make as just something that goes into a pot. You can also count on care to put your gifts to work where the need is greatest. In fact, an article in Fortune magazine ranks care first among the 15 largest charities in America, an actual percentage of total revenue spent on its programs. We are able to fully account for every single pound of food that is entrusted to our care. To assure the donor that what the donor gives 
is actually consumed by the intended beneficiary. CARE has a responsibility to the people that give the money, uh, that finance a lot of these projects. You know, a very large percentage of, of the funds that we need to keep CARE running come from personal donations of five or ten dollars. And these people, they want to see some results. I think they want to know where their money's going to. But most of it, at least with CARE, does get spent right here where, you know, where the people that need it. And it does make a difference. CARE also enlists the help of villagers and local governments in every project, stretching dollars even further. Economy is important, but quality is just as important. That's why CARE maintains a highly professional staff. Experts in their field, they take the time to get to know the people they're helping. To understand their concerns and to address their special needs. There are a lot of things that set CARE apart from other organizations. Top-notch staff, careful spending habits, more than four decades of experience in providing both emergency and long-term assistance. CARE is forever helping people build a solid base for future growth. And by striking at the most basic problems in an area, CARE improves the quality of life not only for project participants, but for millions who benefit indirectly. In reputation, scope, professionalism, and diversity, CARE is the foremost organization of its kind in the world. But it's the people CARE helps that makes the biggest difference. people who come to realize that they can make their lives better because care and its supporters gave them a chance the chance of a lifetime